Hey everybody, Economic Ninja here. I hope you're doing great. We got a story right now and it is out of Goldman Sachs and it's talking about them preparing for a third round of layoffs. And the reason why is because M&A activity is down. And we've already saw that story out of uh, Bank of America having to move bankers around in Asia because of what is going on and how it is slowing in China. Uh, it is important, right? The funds and the banks are having problems and they do not want you to know about it. They try and keep it as quiet as possible to the last minute. Why? Because they're having to move money around based on what they believe you are going to do with your money in the future as people panic and they start to realize the truth of the health of the economy. So let's read the story and we'll chat about it. It's entitled, this is out of Zero Hedge, a Goldman Sachs prepares for third round of layoffs as M&A activity slumps. As macroeconomic headwinds uh, mount, merger and acquisitions trends are pressured downwards. Now think about that. Why would merger and acquisition trends be pressured downwards? Well, first off, borrowing costs are skyrocketing. Another reason is because people that are thinking about acquiring another company, they're slowing down because they're going, what is the true health of that economy? Or sorry, that uh, company. A lot of uh, things are hidden in finance until all of a sudden everything is crashing and then everything's laid out to bear, right? When things are going very, very well, people uh, buy items, they buy companies, they, they acquire things with less questions asked. So I'll give you an example. In 2006, 2005, well, really in 2004, uh, 2005, when real estate was skyrocketing, it was going so crazy that banks were loaning you money knowing, fully knowing, that appraisers were not even showing up to your house. They were literally doing drive-by appraisals, and a lot of the times, at a certain point, they went past drive-by appraisals and they went straight up, we're just gonna look at a photo of the thing, look at the comps, and, and you know what, it's worth it. And it was just free money, why? Because everything was going up, everything was going great. Similar to business acquisitions, a lot of things are left uh, unscrutinized, a lot of line items, because hey, the company's making money, everyone's making money, what they don't realize is a lot of those companies are making money off of cheap debt, and that was it. And it's like this free-for-all, but when everything turns down, that's when the spectacles come out, that's when the magnifying glasses come out, and every line item is scrutinized heavily, and things get real. Why? Because there's so much risk, and a bank or a company cannot take on added risk when they're already getting tons of pressure somewhere else, okay? So think of it that way. Um, it says the Federal Reserve's ongoing policy of interest rate hikes to combat the high inflation seen in uh, highest seen in decades has created less than optimal conditions for deal making. Consequently, such a challenging environment will result in Goldman Sachs Group carrying out its third round of job cuts in less than a year. Sources from, and, and again, I want to remind you how important this is, right? These are the, the ideas that you want in your head, the, the thoughts, you're going, okay, as Goldman Sachs lays people off, as these other banks are laying people off because there's less business going on, less commerce, less velocity of money, dollars transferring hands to and fro throughout the economy, that means the economy is in trouble, okay? These are your early warning signs and the things that should keep you pumped and excited about paying off debt, saving money on the side, getting your inflation hedges together because there's going to be a downturn. Now, as high as hard and hard as they go up, the harder down to the downside they fall, okay? So you can only imagine what you have witnessed in the last three years is unprecedented. And I want to remind you, prior to that in 2019, 2018, our economy was crashing. We were moving into a massive recession and it was very serious. It was a real recession, right? It wasn't as big as the Great Recession, but it was big. We were in trouble. The only way we could juice the markets, if something happened, some black swan, and the ability to print tons of money and drop rates even further than they already were in 2019, all right? So this is your golden egg of opportunity. This is the type of information that you want to be able to disseminate the proper way, okay? Don't be a fool watching CNN going, oh, the economy is great, the economy is amazing, I will buy a Louis Vuitton. This is not the time for that, okay? So it says, sources familiar with the upcoming layoffs told the Wall Street Journal that a wide range of employees, including managing directors and other senior executives, will be let go. The person said about 250 employees would be slashed but wasn't sure when the announcement would be made. If announced, it would be Goldman's third round of job cuts in less than a year. In September, the investment bank cut hundreds of jobs 
following a massive 3,200 layoffs, or about 6% of employees, in January. At the end of the first quarter, Goldman had a total workforce of 45,400. The bank had been reducing its headcount since peaking at 49,000 in the third quarter of 2022. I also want to bring up this fact, because Goldman is just being used as an example right now, but other banks and financial institutions are going through this. As inflation goes up and banks are laying people off, do you think that there are uh, raises going on? No. There's not going to be the raises or the uh, wage uh, growth cycle in this bank in the, that it was in the past now. If they're laying people off, they're doing all kinds of cost-cutting measures when it comes to employees. So yeah, sure, your C-suite execs are still going to get their fat bonuses and be able to run that thing into the ground and still get all their pay. Yes, I get that, and it sucks, but that's just how corporate America works. And guys, if you work for one of these fun firms and you want to share down in the comment section what's going on, please let me know down in the comment section. Um, but remember, they're, they're, these people are also not going to have uh, increase in pay, so they're not going to be blowing money like they were a couple years ago. Now, it says the new cuts are largely as a result of a deal-making environment that remains in the doldrums, Wall Street Journal noted. Besides Goldman, Morgan Stanley and Lazard have recently announced headcount reductions due to continued decline in deal-making activity this year. Guys, it's very important to see the signs of the times and read them properly, disseminate them properly, and be able to do something about that. And what is that right now? This is not the time to be getting into debt. This is the time to be getting your shopping list together. What kind of houses do you want to buy? What kind of rentals do you want to acquire? What kind of cars do you want? And, and I'm, I'm not joking. This crash will be uh, one for the decades. Uh, this will be big. This is going to be for the history books, actually. I'm sorry. And this is the time to start planning now because I want you to be able to seize the opportunity and not anyone else. All right, guys. That being said, I thank you so much for watching. The Economic Ninja is out.